Hello. Let me just get the camera right. Today I'm going to show you a cool trick on how to get into the Insomniac Museum in Ratchet and Clank 3 almost straight away. So the first step is you want to come to the Phoenix. You can do this at any point in the game, pretty much. As long as you have the Phoenix. You stand right here. You want to double tap X and then go at that corner the right there. Okay, that's the first step. The second step is to do a range SI. Like that. Okay, now the way you do that is you press L1 and square. L1 a tiny bit before square. Now if you miss, it's because if you do a hyper strike, it's either because you're pressing square too early or you're too close to the wall. You're gonna be a little further away. I'll show you what I mean. If I'm too close to the wall like this, I'll just do that. But if I'm a little bit further away from the wall, I'll be able to wrench SI and climb up. Now the next step is to get to this platform, very easy. Now this is the hard step. Okay, I think I got it. I might not though. Oh, I made it, yes. Very important to hyper strike there. As you can see, this is the room. But I do. You hop into the teleporter and takes you to the museum. And there you're in the Insomniac Museum after only unlocking two planets. One planet and a big flying spaceship. Unfortunately, you won't be able to get into these areas because I don't have the turrets to clip through. And I don't have the hacker to actually open the door legitimately. You can also get into the same room, the Insomniac Museum teleporter room with the turrets. There is a spot you can glitch through with the turrets, but that way I just showed you it's just easier and you can do it earlier. Like you can do it at any point. Whereas the other one you need the upgraded turrets. Oh, it's cool to mouse. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.